Ash, what could be better than a modern farmhouse waterfall console table? What about a $120 modern farmhouse waterfall console table? That's what we just built. Come check it out, guys. So the first step in building this console table is gonna be to build two of these frames. So Ash and I just built this guy right here. And we're gonna show you how to build the second one. Enter frame two. Awesome. So these are two by fours that I ripped down and I did the math to make sure I built it the cheapest way possible. So I did go with two by fours and not two by sixes and they're ripped to three inches wide each. And guys, if y'all wanna see how we ripped down wood, definitely check out the video that we shared on that. Okay, we're using two and a half inch pocket hole screws through one and a half inch pocket holes. So Whitney already drilled all of the pocket holes into the boards just to save us time since we are shooting a video on this. But I know we're gonna get a lot of questions. How do you drill pocket holes into like a mitered corner? And you do it the exact same way that you would do a square board. Put it in at that angle flush and then try to move it to the tallest part where you can fit the most pocket holes the most of the pocket hole. That was the challenging part for me. Was yeah. like, oh, I got it. Cause they're only three inches. So I was like, Argh. and you don't want to see like the pocket hole on the yes. edge. And then just clamp it in place and you'll drill your pocket holes. Easy peasy. Beautiful. So you can see right here, I found the easiest way to do this. Our table's a little narrow, so I'd probably build on the ground if I wasn't trying to show you guys in all honesty. But I'm just clamping this in place. Yeah, it's so hard to shoot videos and build on the floor at the I same know. time. I know. Show all of our dirty secrets. Yeah. Okay, so I have this clamped in place and I'm just gonna go through those pocket holes and into that other board. Definitely wanna add wood glue to your joints as well. Y'all just didn't see me do it. Now I'm gonna pull this this way just a bit and get these other, this other side on. So the cool thing, one of the cool things about this table is I actually took a picture of the receipt just in case I had any questions. Hey, here's a really good example though of what Asha was talking about. So I actually, this was the first board I made pocket holes on and I did these first. So if I kept those, the screw would actually show right there. So I went back and added them where they were supposed to be. Learn from my mistakes. Noted. <laughs> okay, so let me go back. One more thing I was gonna say. One of the cool things about this table is that it, I, again, tried to design it as inexpensive as possible. And you can do, I paid $119 for all the lumber. And it's a 72 inch table. You're, you could not find that at the cheapest retail place. Correct. For a console table that big. I know. 72 inches, is that six feet? Mm-hmm. I should know since I'm a carpenter-ish. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Awesome. So at this point, we're gonna leave this frame up here. This is gonna be our front frame. I actually haven't really designed the steps in my head, so we're gonna trial and error. We're gonna add the top and the bottom first of this table. Okay. And that is project panels, which I have cut to size over here. So let's start with the, what do you say, bottom? Sure, let's start with the bottom. Yes. Let's do that. So the bottom is actually going to line up. I'm like, maybe it'd be best to do top and then sides and add the bottom last. That's what we need to do. Okay. I lied. Um, so that's gonna go at the very top and flush of this. Got it. These are edge glued boards that Lowe's carries. That's where I bought mine, that's where I always buy mine. And they have different sizes. So I got two, no. So I got three six foot panels and I also got one four foot panel. And you'll see that in a minute. But it's gonna, that cost about the same as plywood, but I didn't have to get it ripped. And I, I really love the way this stains too. So that's why I went with this option. Whitney has gone ahead and drilled three quarter inch pocket holes on both edges on the bottom side of this top project panel. She's also mitered the edges with her miter saw at a 45 degree angle. That way we get that nice waterfall finish on the sides. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> And we're attaching these using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. Ash, um, I can give you some if you want to attach on that end. 
It's raining screws. Hallelujah. And we just want it to be really flush with the top of the. Um, she said that for me. No I'm pressure. Like, I'm like, this is actually going in my house, unlike some of the things we build. I actually like it. Nice and flush. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so we have our top attached on one side. We're not gonna add the back frame yet. Now we're gonna add our sides. These are also cut from those project panels. And I have gone and angled one at 45 degrees, only one side, and that's gonna be what be, what butts up to the top, if Ashley can find it. It's hiding over like, there. I was like, you did not miter anything. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see right here, we've got a 45 degree angle, and then three quarter inch pocket holes down each side. You can also see my Band-Aid from my son biting my finger. <laughs> Get excited. And we just want it to line up. Now again, this is sandable, to quote <laughs> Ashley. But I'm trying to get as flush as possible to make finish look as waterfall as possible. Okay, yes, so I have seen a waterfall table at Pottery Barn, uh, but I love. But I also, I just, I love them, but I also love hardware on a table. And so I found the cutest feet on Amazon. Can't wait to show you guys. I decided if I, I love these feet and I just love this, uh, the minimal, look of that waterfall table so i thought why not marry them and see so holy matrimony there you go <laughs> holy something <laughs> ashley's really stressed out about this angle right now she's stressed because she knows it's going in my house yeah now we're adding the bottom panel and this one is just a straight panel and you can see right here we're lining it up flush with the bottom of that frame so this is going to be the bottom of our table or the bottom shelf and then this is the top of our table. Isn't it cute? Well, thanks, I hope so, we'll see. It's real cute. So I think at this point, it might be best to, to put the, the frame on the ground and flip this on top of it to access all the other pocket holes. Okay. So this is the back frame. So like, this is gonna be the very back of our table. Here's the front of our table. So our pocket holes are actually on this side, but this is gonna be against the wall. So you won't ever see them. And we will now set this guy carefully. So at this point, in this part, I feel like will be a little, a little strange, but you've got to use your hands and just make sure everything lines up flush. And uh, we're going to get our other pocket holes attached. We'll start with the top and go from there. Okay, so now we've got, I feel like now the bottom, we should do the bottom one next and then do our sides. Maybe. No? I think you need to do the sides. Side first? Okay, yeah. I can do that. Do you have a little give right now? Okay. We're just kind of fitting everything and seeing the best way to get everything attached right now because I'm trying to make it as square as possible, but you know, two by fours or two by fours, so. Yep. And then now I would come up here. Okay. Okay. I'm inside my table to sh for this next part. So what these are right here are just scraps from the two by four and they're cut the width of those project panels, 12 inches, a little bit shy. And I'm just gonna put one at the top Oh, that looks good like that. Nailing I like it in place. Than the other ones. Sorry, I was talking. You won't you. see them. They're just supports. Oh, wait, PC. Okay. You're you're, you're ruining the magic. Here. I know what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> I figured you out. So I'm putting one at the top, one at the bottom. Okay. And then what I'm doing is I'm adding a panel on the inside. Oh yeah. Perfect. Now, it's perfect except that Here, uh, I Mallet! Mallet! Mallet me! Oh, I love it. Now, I love it. See what that does? Yes, it that's gives you so a pretty. true thick looking. Um, uh, you know I'm, what? I'm doing my next coffee table for uh -huh. my new house like that. Okay. Do, do you like my bowl. design idea? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, so now I'm going to add it on this side. <laughs> Jeffrey, throw me that piece. Add a tub. Thank you, sir. Oh, the mallet left a lot of goodness. I can take that off later. Oh wait, no, it's gonna get covered. Hello. Forgot my own trick, Jeffrey. Silly. <laughs> so we could stop right here because this is already super cute, but I think everything looks better with accessories. I do too, and we're already sweating, so we I may, know. As well. may as well add the feet. <laughs> so I found these feet on Amazon and I fell in love with them. So these are so neat. Um, this is the back, so you know you won't get the full effect, but. What we're gonna do is attach them. So we're gonna add spack screws to hold them really tight. 
Holy hot, Batman. I am gonna go back and add supports under this, but I definitely wanna get this done while y'all are here so you can see it in action. I think it's important. This is so cute. Thank you. I told you, I feel like it, once I get it finished and decorated, it might be one of my favorite things that it's I've done. It's so cute. It makes me want to redo all my furniture. But, <laughs> I'm really excited about this. I know, and these are the seven inch feet, but they also had other size, sizes, I should say. Oh my gosh, I love it. That's so cute. I love it. I think it's so cute. Those feet are they they make everything. It. Yeah. That's so pretty. So I, I think baskets in it, I, a cute lamp on top. I'm excited to see it in my entryway. And I can't believe this is $120 for a six foot console table. Yep, super excited. I love how this turned out. I just need to get it sanded down really good. Then I'm gonna give it a coat of stain and I'm definitely gonna put a poly on this one. And if you don't wanna miss another one of our videos, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Happy, Happy building. building. $120 modern, modern. What could be better? Oh, be? I think it's fun. Get it, girl. Burn it in the sun. Son of a bee. So, we are using, sorry. We are using, we are using two and a half inch pocket hole screw. We're using two and a half inch pocket. Guys, I quit my life. I'm actually. Those are going through. I don't know why. Seriously? Get these guys. These little guys right here. $120 modern farmhouse waterfall coffee table. <laughs> so many words, right? I was like, I got it. She was so it. close. She was so confident, too. Make uh, okay. sure that you subscribe to our channel. Happy, Happy building. Happy videoing. <laughs> We're so tired. Okay, sorry. Okay.